It's my fellow dingbats, and welcome back to a very new and exciting experimental YouTube video. Here we have, uh, let's see, is it two 8400GSs running in a single computer with no SLI support or an SLI bridge. And what do you think I'm going to do? Well, it's quite obvious. Since this doesn't have either SLI support or an SLI supported motherboard, we're going to turn it on and see if this thing can actually run Ground Control 2, which is a demo provided by Massive Entertainment, courtesy of File Planet. And we're going to see here in a second, as this computer starts up, I'm probably going to have to give it a bang or two, because, uh, yeah, the monitor's a bit shady. Now here we have our potato keyboard, which is actually quite nice. It's not very mushy. It's actually uh, comparable to a mechanical. It's like half mechanical, but not really. So here we have a uh, Passive heatsink cooling with a fan on top as an improvised way of keeping it cool. So it, uh, it pulls like 30 degrees or 20 degrees temps, it's pretty good. And we have a Core 2 quad and I think around 4 gigs of memory, yeah. And a potato hard drive and a very interesting power supply which I found from, uh, I think this was EVGA, yeah. Oh no, SEZ, yeah. Alright, so here we're gonna just sit down and observe the flashing screen at 85 hertz while well, it says welcome and uh, I wait for this to actually start up so here we are hold it with my left hand now it's a, it's a bit shaky but <clears throat> I don't know where my camera's gone well I've only ever used this so you're just gonna wait for it to start up and turn off the light here. I've been told Microsoft that I haven't activated Windows yet, but uh, yeah, this is uh, technically a demo version, I believe. So here we are, we're inside, we're going to go to uh, GPU Z, and let's see if we can find this. Alright, so let's run that. Take power up. It's a bit glary because, um, well, it's a lot brighter than LCDs. Okay, so here we have it. Oh, oh that's very. That's heavy banding there, okay. So we got a EVGA... Oh, oh yeah, EVGA video cards, and we have some... CPU clocks, GPU clocks I mean, at uh, 520 megahertz. We have physics, CUDA, and all this random crap, but most importantly, we have a thing over here called NVIDIA SLI, and as you can see, it is currently enabled. Now, how can you ask, is the 8400GS able to SLI with itself? Well, good question. Let me demonstrate to you exactly how this works. So, here we are. I'll show you in the video control panel, and by that time, I'll open different SLI auto. This is the program which does all the tricks. Okay, as you can see here, what you want to do, you want to follow all these steps. You want to uninstall everything. Install your video card, install your drivers. Basically, and then um, after that, shut down, you restart it, install the second video card, and then after that, make sure the driver is installed for that video card, and then reboot it again, and then you follow all these other steps. And make sure you're on test signing mode. You enable three commands for that. Now, uh, those three you can find easily on the internet. I will make a more detailed explanation in a future video as to how to do this. However, uh, the banding is really annoying sometimes, but you can't really see it in person. Okay, so here we are, we have that done. I'll just show you how it is when I disable SLI. So you're going to apply that. Now, SLI is currently disabled. So now, if and if, as you can see, I haven't skipped the video, this is actually still the same thing. There we go. Now, what we want to do, we'll close that, and we're gonna run the demo. Alright. This is a very old game from uh, 2004. Come on, bro. My improvised speaker there and my uh, 
a pretty dank looking PC with a very improvised gear. As you can see here, it's running all right. It's actually not too bad. It's got good frames. But however, if we turn up the visuals to 1600 by 1200 at high quality, no VSync, turn everything up to the max and apply that. You'll see that is currently running at like two frames a second. And I kid you not, this is actually like two frames a second. But then when you enable SLI, which I'll promptly demonstrate after this thing actually tabs out. There we go. When we enable SLI, close this. You can see that there is a bar over here which I have enabled for your viewing and as you can see it is actually increasing quite a lot here. Now it's actually running pretty smoothly. It's like nearly triple the frame rate now. If I somehow manage to reinstall MSI Afterburner, which is actually here, so I don't need to reinstall it, okay. So as you can see, we are running at 36 degrees on load. And currently it has um, just started to be loaded, but uh, we can overclock this to around uh, 550, uh, 550 megahertz. 5, 560, yeah. It, it tends to crash at really high clock speeds, which is uh, not very desirable. You can overclock this a bit like that, yeah. And then we should, I think, MSI Afterburner has a feature here which uh, allows you to on screen display your system something. Here, let's see if I can find it. So, at stock clock speeds, we have a very interesting array of frame rates. As you can see here, we are at 13 all the way to 26 frames. Now, if you keep typing FPS into this little dialog box, you can actually see the variations. It's pretty cool. So this is with SLI enabled. And also, stock clock. So it should be, uh, oops. So it's averaging around uh, 17 FPS. Very cinematic experience, uh, very Ubisoft-like, and uh, in fact, the company that made this game is actually bought by Ubisoft. Which happened quite recently. Actually, no, quite a few years back now. It was uh, back in 2007, so... The average frame rate isn't very high at all. So I can see here, when a ship comes into land, it should have a lot better FPS, as you can see here. It tops off at around 26 frames. 26.7, 26.9... Twenty-five point seven. That is the maximum FPS. So now, as you can see quickly here, and SLI is running, still running. You can see the green bar there. It's uh, running one hundred percent. No scam. No joke. Now we can go back and then enable SLI and also overclock this to six hundred megahertz, and also the memory clock. Apply this, and now we can go back to ground control, and hopefully it just doesn't crash. And it doesn't crash! Amazing! Last time I did that, I had some weird artifacts, and it freaking exploded. There, yeah, here you can see the average FPS has actually increased to 17! A massive margin! 18, 19, 20. This ship hasn't even come into land yet. 18, 19. Now keep in mind I'm doing this because um, I don't have fraps on this, well of course, if I had fraps on this I would just um, keep it up in the corner. But as you can see, it is a very, very professional setup with two 8400 GS's, it can run an HD game even though this was made in 2004, it has insanely detailed graphics, even look there, holy crap, look at this anti-aliasing and stuff, pretty high def.
you can play all, all the way up to like 1440p as well. So yeah, that is the uh, overclocked one. Let me show you how bad it is or how good it is when I disable SLI and keep it on the clock speed. So I'm going to disable SLI here, close ground control, and apply. Now, good sir, I will start up ground control 2 again. And now I will see the clock speeds and the corresponding FPS. This was uh, quite a worthy investment, I'd say. As you can see here, it's starting again. FPS. The max one the dropship is all the way down. It's 16 FPS right now. Still 16. 14 FPS. Pretty bad. Yeah, as you can see, with one graphics card, even overclocked to like 600 megahertz, it is literally unplayable. Well, that is unfortunately it for today, and um, if you've loved this video and would like me to make another quirky, overpowered and uh, underpowered setup here with, a, I don't know, freaking a Delta fan and two video cards, well, just give me a shot. I'll do it. And also, keep in touch for a tutorial as to how to do this in depth, in detail, 100% no scam, and with probably a 680 and a GTX 660 Ti. Because uh, with my current computer, it seems that um, the 680 can't SLI with another 680, but it can quite possibly SLI with this. Even though they are different cards, completely different. But they do have 2048 megabytes of GDR5. Um, when trying to SLI one with, uh, I think, 3 gigabytes and 2 gigabytes, it didn't really work. And um, every time I'd start a game, it would work for a bit and then start stuttering and then just die. So, uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot with that. Hopefully, that turns up with some interesting result. But this is. Now I will call myself, I think, uh, Wing Clip Gaming? Yeah, Wing Clip sounds alright. Because my old channel name is a bit uh, outdated. But yeah, this is uh, Compu Guy slash Wing Clip Gaming signing out. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you hated this video, leave a dislike. I don't really, frankly, care. But thank you for viewing, and I will see you guys next year. Good night, and good luck.